Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial and in this session we are going to see how can you run your tests from command line and we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see how can you run one specific test from command line how can we run few selected tests then we will see how can we run test with some specific tags and we will see how can we include and exclude tags in command line we will also see how can you run all the tests within a test suite in a command line and then we will see how can we send the results to a specific folder from command line execution so in case you are one of those who believe command line is always a tricky option and you find it difficult believe me after the end of this session you will find it very easy and you will always want to use command line for your robot framework test execution so let us begin and step number one will be we will open our command line and go to the location of our project so let me open my command prompt and now i have to go to the location where my project is so in my case my robot framework project is located here so i will just copy this path and then in the command line I will say cd for change directory and just paste this location and say enter so now I am in my project location in my command prompt so this is step 1 and step 2 is now we have to run our test cases so let us see how to run single test and the syntax is you have to say robot and minus t for test case and the test name and then you have to give the suite name okay or the suite file for example in my case i have this test suite.txt as my test suite file so let me go to the command line and here i will say robot minus t and I have to give the test name so in my case I have a test called test5 and then I say test suite and if I press tab on my keyboard I get this auto completed so I am saying robot minus t the test case name and the test suite file and hit enter and you can see it was a very simple test case which just a uh, logged test started and test completed on the console and it is completed and we have also got the report here so you can also copy this and open in your browser and you can see this is the report and you can also see the logs here okay let me also open my write so that I can show you the test I will say write.py and you can see this is the project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions and this was the test with that we just ran from command line which just uh, logged test 5 started and test 5 completed to the console now let us see and how to run multiple test cases so I will say run multiple tests so for that again we will use the same command robot minus t and then let's say test 1 and then again minus c and say test 2 and then the suite 5 so in the same way i will say let me clear this and i will say robot minus t test 4 minus t test 5 and my test suite file and hit enter so you can see test 4 is starting so of course our test 4 goes to a browser and then comes out and then test 5 and then you have got the report and you can go back and if I refresh it you can see we have now these test 4 and 5 getting executed so let me go to the logs and you can see test 4 and 5 got executed okay so this is how we execute two test cases now let us go ahead 
and we have to see how do we run test with some specific tags so let us say step 4 is run tests with tags okay and here if I go to my right you can see in test 4 I have a tag given as smoke and if I go to test 5 you can see I have a tag sanity okay so let us see how can we run these tests based on the tags from command line so the syntax will be here robot and then hyphen hyphen include and the tag name and then the suite file okay so let me go back and here I will say robot hyphen hyphen include and I just want to include the tag sanity and my suite file name and that's it let me run it and you can see it has only executed test 5 which had the tag as sanity and also you can instead of hyphen hyphen include you can also give hyphen i or dash i which is the one and the same thing and again it will do the same thing it will run the test with the tag sanity now if you want to run with multiple tags you can say minus i sanity or you can also say minus i smoke so i want to run test which has both of these tags and i hit enter so you can see now it is starting test number four which was for smoke tag and then it will do test number five so test four is done and then it will run test five as well and you can see and of course we can go back to our report and you can see both of these tests got executed okay you can also uh, go to the tags and you can see smoke and sanity both got executed we have sanity and smoke okay so let me also write down you can also use minus i or dash i instead of writing the entire include here so you can use this as well and you can include multiple tags and also if you want to use a regular expression so for example uh, let me go back to my command line and let us say let me clear this and I can say robot minus i and I can say s star so this means that all the tags starting with s and whatever they have after that it's okay run all the tests which have the tag name as s and then anything and my suite name okay so this is a regular expression you can use any regular expression so you can see it has started test 4 which was smoke tag and then it executed test 5 as well that was for sanity tag so this is how you can use tags during your execution from command line now let us also see how can you run all the tests in a test suite so this is step 5 run all tests in a test suite so in fact for this you just have to say robot and your suite file so for example let me go to my command prompt let me clear this and I can just say robot test suite what whatever is my test suite file name and hit enter and now you can see it has started test 1 and it will run all the other test cases so test 1 is going to the browser so let me go and show you in write our test 1 is it goes to the browser robotframework.org and then close browser and log something to the console test 2 is again going to a browser and doing and login 
so I believe now we are on test number two it goes to orange HRM does a login and it will come out and then test three test three is again a simple login goes to the browser and four and five so let me go back and you can see there are some pass and some failures but all the tests within the test suit were executed and you can go to the report and you can see we have all the tests got executed and you can see with tags as well we have all these tests and in the logs also you can see all the tests got executed okay so this is how you can run all the tests within a suite and now let us see how can you send the results to a specific folder so step number six is send results to a folder so for that you have to use the option minus d and then whatever the location you want to give and you can use this option in all the commands so for example let me just take a very simple test a single test so I am saying robot minus t test 5 and now I will say minus t results and my test suite so what it will do is within this project whatever location I am at it will create a results folder if it is not already there and if it is already there it will send the results to this folder and it's if it's not there it will create and send the results so let me just run this and you can see it is passed and if I go to my project you can see results folder here and I can go inside and you can see these results have come here and I can open this in a browser so let me just open this with a chrome browser and you can see all the results are here and even the logs are here okay so let me also just write it down for notes and I will provide all these notes in the description of this video so you can say a uh, robot and I have used minus t for running a particular test case and then I can say minus t and the location whatever location you want to send it to and your suit file name so this is in my case so you can use this with all the earlier commands as well the minus t option okay and now let us go to some useful tips and one of the useful tips I have already shown you that you can use regular expression so for example in tags you can use regular expression I think I did not tell you about excluding a tags you can also exclude tags so let me also show you that example so like we included the tags and we used uh, minus minus include you can also exclude by using exclude so I can say robot minus minus exclude and I can say smoke or sanity or whatever tags or I can also use regular expressions like s star and then I can say my test suite and you can use this exclude or you can use only minus e both will work fine so in this case it will exclude all the test cases that have tags starting with s and it will run all the other so you can see it is running the first test case which did not have any tags or tags starting with s and it will run all the other tag, test case as well also there is uh, one option how can you make the tags critical or non-critical let us see that as well let this execution get complete so as of now we are on test number two and yes everything is now complete so let me show you how can you make tags as critical and non-critical so let me say I say robot minus I for include tags and I say include all the tags with starting with s star and I can now say critical and I say smoke so any test case having the tag smoke will be shown as critical in the report 
and then my test suite file so let me just run this so this will run the tag starting with s which is test number four and five this is test number four and then we have test number five and here is the report let me just copy this location and go to our browser and just paste this and did you see it has made smoke as critical okay it has made the tag smoke as critical i can click here and even here you can see smoke is displayed as critical and sanity as uh, it is normal right so this is how you can uh, it is very handy that when you have multiple test cases and you want to make some particular test cases with some particular tag as critical to be shown in the report you can do that and similarly you can also make it as non-critical so for non-critical you will say hyphen hyphen non-critical and you can also use the short form minus c for critical and minus n for non-critical so let me just run it now with minus n tag so it will again run test number four which goes to a browser and goes to google.com and closes it and then it should go to it should run test number five which is a pass so let me again refresh this report and now you can see smoke tag is non-critical and you can also see it here smoke tag is non-critical and this is how you can make your test cases critical and non-critical based on tags which can be shown in the report and also this is a guide so here is a url this is a guide where you will find all the command line options which will be very handy for your day-to-day -day working with robot framework from command line i will make this url available here and all these notes will be available in the description of this video so i hope now it is very clear to you how can you run tests from command line with all these options so i hope this was very easy thanks for watching i will meet you in the next session keep watching robot framework beginner tutorials hit the like button if you really like this session and also share it with others and consider subscribing to this channel where i post videos related to automation devops ci and testing I will meet you in the next session. Thank you for watching.